Hello and welcome to Birmingham Cameras Online. I'm Jules Call. Well, today we're in the beautiful surroundings of the NACE race course for a Canon Ireland Day, especially with Birmingham Cameras. And we are joined by photography royalty, I think it would be safe to call you, Eddie. Absolutely. Eddie Kyo, one of the greatest sports photographers on planet Earth, who has been here giving us an incredible training day. Eddie, it's been absolutely amazing to watch you in operation. How have you enjoyed today? Yeah, super day and uh, I think all your clients went home a little happier and they've learned a little bit about sports and fast shutter speeds and yeah, exposures, just trying to get, get things right, you know. So. Have you noticed a common thread with what people were asking you today? Because obviously we were looking at the specifics of sport. It's mm. horse racing. We're talking about the horses coming out. We got some incredible access today, yeah. which we were allowed to see around the race course. The horses moving at high speed. Was there one particular thing that everybody wanted to achieve? Yeah, two, two kind of basic things. I mean, first of all, they want to freeze the action. So if the horse is running at that speed, so fast shutter speeds um, and what they think is a fast shutter speed, but really is a fast shutter speed. So they understand that you have to go really fast. And that might mean pushing up the ISO a bit, but you know, with the cameras these days, the quality is not a problem. So you can push it up to ISO, 2000 ISO, no problem at all. The other thing they wanted to play with today was kind of panning. So you're at the other, other end of the, the scale there. So really slow shutter speeds. And they're just trying to teach them how to try to pan horses going across and so yeah, they did all right. Yeah, they got some good results. I think they they've had some pictures printed up, so they're walking away with uh, some pictures under their arms. So they're yeah, we've seen a lot of <laughs> smiley, happy faces today. Yeah, We're looking yeah, at the yeah, results yeah. of what's yeah. coming out of the printer. Yeah. And what about lenses? What have we used today? Uh, God, seventy to two hundred is the kind of the main lens. Seventy to two hundred two eight. Uh, there were one hundred four hundred was popular. God, we had had a, quite a lot of lenses today. Uh, the four hundred two eight obviously is a cracking lens. Um, Three hundred two eight. Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't always have to be a longer lens for sport. I mean, you can shoot a nice kind of wide, wide scape with, with the horses in it on a 24-70. So, yeah, there's a, a broad range of lenses and all, they all work, really. Yeah. And when it comes to photography and you, why Canon? What was it that drew you to the Canon brand? Uh, the quality, really. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just... Um, you know, I, I, I'm working pretty much at the top of, top of the game, you know, We're working for... Uh, Reuters news agency working for the England football team so it's got to be it's got to be the best and I'm competing with the best and they're all using Canon cameras so um, yeah so we've got a we need good cameras good lenses you know and and Canon produce them so Kira it's been a wonderful day for Canon here at NACE yes. Racecourse today oh it's been brilliant like we love having Canon ambassadors over and Eddie Kyo is just brilliant. He's a fantastic photographer. He's so engaging, so knowledgeable. He's brilliant with customers. And it's great to get to talk to customers. It's great to be able to, you know, show the equipment to them, you know, shoot things that we don't normally shoot and get to talk about everyday things and use different equipment. So it's been a brilliant, brilliant day. So, Chris, have you enjoyed yourself today? Loved it. From the start, I must say this is my first time I've been to a course. Mm -hmm. And um, from the introduction by Eddie Kyo, which is excellent, right away through the uh, Canon people welcoming us here and uh, going down to see the horse. I loved it. Brilliant. Can I come again? <laughs> absolutely. You're always welcome. So, Joe, have you enjoyed yourself today? I have indeed. It's been an absolutely great day again. Another great event by Canon and Eddie's been absolutely amazing. So to be in the presence of a master photographer like him, has he taught you any top tips or anything like that today? He's made me realise how much I don't know and how much I still have to learn. But it's been amazing because he's answered you know, every single question we had and um, showed off a lot of his work. Uh, and getting that insight from someone who's done this professionally for so many years, uh, it really goes to show me how much more there is to learn uh, and you know, how much more work there is to do. Brilliant. So could you see a lot more sports photography in your future? I'd love to say I would, yeah. I mean, I have to invest in maybe quicker lenses and quicker cameras, but sure, that's why we're here, to try them out. And, and thanks to Canon and Birmingham's again for giving us a chance to do this because uh, we always see these things and we want to use them, but uh, getting hands-on with it is, is always amazing. Brilliant. Thanks a million. Thank you very much. Well, stop the press. Winner all right, winner all right. Brian, looking very dapper for the occasion. It's been a wonderful day for Birmingham's, hasn't it? Yes, it's been a great day. Um, thankfully, a uh, nice race course and Canon allowed us to have this day today. A uh, very, very interesting day. Never really had access like we've had today um, for myself at any race meeting. It's been uh, very enjoyable. Um, we learned a lot. Eddie Kiel was one of the best people we ever had for training. And he made the day very enjoyable, uh, very interesting, uh, while also making it educational for the people that were here. 
So for anybody who's watching at home and wondering, how can I go to an event like this? What do they have to do? It's very easy, really. Um, these events are free, uh, but they're only for people that buy cameras from Birmingham cameras. So once equipment is purchased from us, we take your details and we advise you when an event like this is on. Um, if you have the qualifying equipment, the event is free uh, and you're more than welcome to join us. So just sign up for the newsletter. You can check it out on birminghamcameras.ie. And for our Birmingham Cameras viewers, what advice would you have when it comes to photographing sport? Now, we saw horses today, which are obviously moving at high speed, but other things like, let's say, car racing and things like that. What would you be your top three tips for photography um, in sport? Sport, I mean, it's, to, to show the drama of sports, um, very often, I, I think one of, the, one of the first things I, I would try and get l low, if you can, it all, it all depends on the access, how much access you're going to get. But the lower you get, the more dramatic it, it tends to look. So uh, if, if, if people are running, if you get really low, you will see them running. You'll see their feet off the ground, which, which kind of tells you they're running. As opposed to if, you, if you're too high, you won't see the feet off the ground. So that's, that's certainly number one. So that includes football, rugby, whatever. So get low. If you have to, have to, have to lie down <laughs> <laughs> on the pitch, then you have to lie down. So that is number one. Superhero angle looking yeah, up. Is, okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it just it just gives it a bit of drama. So mm -hmm. that's an e it's an easy one to do. Everyone can lie down, can't they? You know. So <laughs> so get down. Mm -hmm. um, what else is important? What telling else? the story. What yeah. What are your thoughts on telling a story when it comes to sport? What are your priorities? Well, yeah. Okay. If you want to tell the story, then you need to do your homework before you come to the events. Mm -hmm. You know. So if you're going to a game of football, what what is the story around the football? You know. So if you're, I was at West Ham Man United yesterday. So you need to know that Mourinho has had trouble with one of the players, you know, so you need to know that story before you go. So when you see them together, you know that's a picture that's important to take. So, so whatever it is, whether you're doing horse racing or rugby, just, you know, understand the sport, understand the story, and then, um, yeah, that will help. Well, it has been an absolutely incredible day today. Amazing to watch you in operation and very lucky for all of the Birmingham Cameras customers who got to be here today. So yeah, thank you. You looked after me beautifully. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was a very good day. And all, all the people were very sweet and uh, keen to learn. I mean, that's, that's the thing. It's, you know, photography is a passion, you know. It's, it's, that's why we do it. And um, you know, all those people came along today, they want to hear, they hear how the job works. And uh, that's nice. It's nice to get some feed, good feedback, you know. Well, thank you for all the top tips and everything that you told us today. It's been absolutely fantastic. Rock and roll. <laughs> if you'd like to know more about upcoming events like this, all you've got to do is just sign up to our newsletter. You can check it out on birminghamcameras.ie. I'm Jules Call, keeping things in focus for Birmingham Cameras.